So it's almost 4th of July time. If you're looking to celebrate somehow, barbecuing, fireworks, just relaxing, who knows? And it's going to be hot no matter where you are. Hottest temperatures, though, in the Upper Valley, where it could be over 100 degrees again from about McAllen off to the west. Still a pretty decent amount of sunshine. Take whatever you see out your window now, and that's probably about what it will look like on the 4th of July, just mostly sunny and hot. Maybe, as in, eh, not sure if it will happen, but maybe a small chance for one or two little sea breeze type showers by Thursday and Friday. So enough moisture might be around for a couple of little showers, but not expecting any big downpours. So you might get lucky and get a little shower to cool you later this week. But otherwise, not too many changes in the weather the next six or seven days. Check out temperatures now. They are at 102 in McAllen. That's actually come down a little bit. It was at least 103 about an hour ago. 106 in Rio Grande City, 97 in Harlingen, 92 in Brownsville. And the breeze is picking up some from the south and southeast, but it feels like with the humidity, it feels like it's about 105 to 110 or slightly hotter in some areas, even 116 in Rio Grande City. So it's hot, it's sunny, at least the breeze is there to cool you off a little bit, but still the heat index is up there in that 105 to 115 range. So as always, if you're out on the 4th of July, even if you're like out, out on the beach all day, make sure you stay cool and hydrated so you don't succumb to any heat related health problems. It will be a very hot and sunny day all across the valley tomorrow. So your evening planner for this evening, and it will look about this way tomorrow, but this evening going from about 91 through the 80s into the mid 80s may have trouble getting below 80 in some areas tonight. I think with a light breeze around and some humidity, it's going to be hard to cool off much more than maybe 79 or 80. But it's dry right now everywhere in the valley. You see a couple of little showers over the mountains of Mexico. You know, the mountains out there, you can tell that there's at least a little instability. The mountains get above some of that stable air and you're able to build up a couple of clouds and showers. But the moisture isn't really around in full force to get too many showers going anywhere. So a couple of little showers in the mountains, but none of them able to move this way. So future track does show mainly dry weather this evening and tonight. If you look at it, just clear to partly cloudy skies all through the night. Maybe a few clouds by sunrise. Tomorrow looks like a hot and somewhat breezy day, kind of like today where winds may gust to about 30 miles per hour at times, but otherwise no big changes from today. So should be dry for the 4th of July weather in the evening. We'll show you the 4th of July forecast here coming up, but sunshine around mostly on Wednesday again with hot weather and temperatures mostly in the upper 90s or some areas in the lower 100s. Maybe by Thursday, you see a little more green on the map. The moisture content of the air comes up a little bit, so we get a little more moisture. Maybe the sea breeze has enough punch to it to trigger one or two showers here and there, or maybe three but not much rain. I think if we do get rain, it will be rather brief and not very heavy at all. So uh, just keep an eye though, Thursday and Friday, you might start to see about a 10% chance for a shower. A whole 10%, that means 90% uh, no showers. So if you are going to celebrate the 4th of July tomorrow, fireworks in the evening, uh, generally in about the mid 80s at around say 9, 9.30 or so when we're launching fireworks and temperatures in the 80s with a light breeze from the south and southeast and mainly clear to partly cloudy skies. So the first 157 day forecast tomorrow, Hot, little breezy. Wednesday, hot, little breezy. Thursday and Friday, only about a 10% chance of maybe a daytime sea breeze shower. The best chance is from about, say, 10 in the morning through about 5 in the afternoon. But most of you looking dry, and your better chance overall of a shower would be over Cameron and Wilsey counties. But for most of you, hot and dry are the two words for the next seven days. I mean, you could throw in other words like humid and sunny and scorching, but uh, <laughs> basically what the weather you see right now is uh, there aren't too many changes for the rest of the week. But clear skies, beautiful weather for 4th of July, cookouts and whatnot. Yeah, good looking weather. Might be a little breeze still around in the evening, so watch that if you're out there, you know, with something that burns, but basically like it is now, hot and dry. Awesome. Thanks, Alan.